I'm William Aldis from Real Place Farm Bees and today I'm going to tell you how to make honey. Honey is um, evaporated nectar so the bees do all of the hard work for us. They go from flower to flower and literally tens of thousands of flowers every single day the colony of bees will go and collect nectar. That nectar is approximately 80% water. They then bring that nectar back to the hive and they store it in the honey super which sits on the top of the hive and they store it in these cells. They then, using the heat from the, from the colony and airflow over the, over the surface of the frames, evaporate that water off to the point where we get less than 18% water. At that point we can safely call that nectar honey. From the point of view of how I know it's ready as a beekeeper, um, I look at this frame and this is partic not a particularly good example, this is a frame of oilseed rape honey, but when I can see that the frame is largely capped with white wax cappings, I know that that honey is very, very close, if not 100% ready to extract. With rape honey, because of its um, nature, it sets very, very quickly, so we don't wait for the entire frame to be capped, otherwise the top element which is where the honey is stored first of all, would be set and unextractable. So we're taking this lot back to the honey house to extract um, in its current state. But as you can see, the beautiful glistening nectar and honey in the other combs. If I give it a shake like that over the top of this hive, there's nothing flowing out. If there was um, liquid nectar flowing out, I would know that this was fresh nectar that hadn't been evaporated properly and wasn't suitable for taking as honey. Now that we've taken the honey from the bees in the honey supers, we must take it back to the honey house, uncap the honey, put it in the honey extractor, extract the honey using the honey extractor, filter it, and then the honey is ready to be jarred and eaten. And that's how to make honey.